Hey everybody, it's Rad Ribbon. Yeah. Uh, I got my buddy Chaos Wolf. How we doing? Uh, so, in the spirit of me been playing PlayStation games for like the past year, uh, we decided to play Dark Cloud. Hey, look, I said I wanted to experience my childhood again, uh, and I have only ever played the second one. So this is the this is the hilarious thing. I only played this one right here. And he did not know there was a first one. I knew the about... The se second one. <laughs> he didn't know about the second one. I played the second one, but I've never touched the first one. So this is going to be an interesting mix. This will be very interesting to see what is and what isn't in the front. <laughs> <laughs> what they brought over into the second game. Yeah. All right, so I guess start. Because... Uh, start. And if by any point in time we start pointing out shit from the PlayStation 2 era, note that we grew up with this. We, we mean nothing but love. A book was found in some old ruins. I realize I'm way too used to games with actual narration. <laughs> All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. Isn't that the some shit? It's always some weird book that some people, somebody finds somewhere. Something like that? <laughs> well, I, I can't fucking read any of it, so... Right? <laughs> a world oh, with... Apparently we can. <laughs> a world with two moons illuminated the sky with two? Man. Wait, so how many suns are there? There has to be, like, enough... Like, <laughs> okay, there's two moons. And either there's one big-ass sun lighting both of them up. Right? That has to be it. Or, like, there's multiple suns who light up each of the moons. How does the... How does the day-night sun... Is there some... You know there's somewhere that... There has to be, like, a, like a daily eclipse. Yeah, honestly. Like, at the certain time of year. It's like, oh, come on, guys. It's, three, it's 345. Get the eclipse. Oh, shit, we didn't read that. I don't... They can fucking read. <laughs> Be whether or not this is a true story. Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Buddy, I can't even read the fucking thing. I don't... I, frankly, I think you're it, full of honestly, shit. Honestly, it looks like me after downing five shots of whiskey and telling J.K. Rowling I'm coming after her and deciding to write at five in the morning after not sleeping all night. Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. You know, in this world of magic and airships and whatever the fuck the dragon thing is. <laughs> Let me tell you this story this ancient book tells us. So you can read it. So what the fuck are you asking us? <laughs> oh, God. Save we... us the effort and just tell us yeah, already. Right? God damn, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and magical. magical. What? And magnificent. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just rambling. Fairy tale. So this shit ain't even real. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of moral ass uh, story are we going to learn here today, folks? Some bullshit. <laughs> And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name it's is... like Tolwyn or Torn? I don't fucking know. Oh, wow! Oh, wow, you were very close. It's Tone. I was... You were very close. I'm uh, actually really impressed for that one. No, guys, I have... I am, like, 23 now, and I'm not touching games since I was, like, four years old. Four or five. Boy from Narun. Uh, I guess your name gets to be Tone. Sure, fuck it. Uh, can canonical name, why not? Uh, I don't know shit of this game, so, uh, unless it's this... I only ever played the second one, the so... Dark Shrine. It's always a... It's always a dark somewhere. It, uh, this is... Remember, this was supposed to be a lost title. This is a 2000 title. fucking one game. God damn. It was supposed to be 2000, but it got delayed. That is almost icon to the opening Jack scene. Jack and Jack <laughs> On the island? <laughs> oh my god, that really that really is very close to that. Oh, Steven! <laughs> but almost... She looks like she's ready to break out in the dance number. Oh, they're all about to break <laughs> into a dance number. <laughs> this is about to end up being some Bollywood bullshit. Oh, oh. And the Nazi. They <laughs> gathered quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dancers with the... Oh, they are going to break out into the dance number. The dancers. Yeah, okay, but that nose, though. My god, look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of witches with the hum with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Oh, really? Problems? In order to procure good material, material you need you need ad adequate. I don't know. I see. I'll pay extra for that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Who's this? Clearly, some white-haired protagonist. Very soon. Let us enjoy the ceremony till that time. See, I love how everything in the Sentient was like medieval, but then you get this like 
World War II Germany He attire. looks like a fucking Nazi. I can't get over that. I was trying to avoid saying it. So you're being no, I, no fuck, fuck you. I'm going to say it. He looks like a goddamn Nazi. <laughs> but yeah, no. Like, notice how, like, in everything, it's, like, almost medieval looking. Mm -hmm. But then you just have a Nazi. Like, he just sticks out. He sticks right the hell out. Dude, I love the fact, like, these guys look like they're ready to break out to a dance number. Oh, well, we hired these dancers. Well, it's, 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 excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> but, nah, um... I'm gonna be mad though. They look like they're fucking grooving. Imagine a game these days trying to put a Nazi in it like this. Yeah, unless it's fucking uh, what is it, Uncharted or just Cuz? That's or, not gonna happen. Or like Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Oh, that's like their bread and butter. Uh, what's another good one? As long as you're killing the Nazi, it's okay. Yeah, so. yeah. As long as you're killing the Nazis. <laughs> Hans, stuck <laughs> panza. <laughs> Flag, sir. Do you know the legend of that? I didn't get to read it, whatever. Of course, how much <laughs> money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I don't know. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for years, and now the legendary power is mine. This is just like the scalar play for you started. It's... Man, do these guys never fucking... These guys look like they belong in Majora's Mask. Yeah, but I'm saying, in this age, Dev just never gave contact. Oh, I'm sorry. The Genie of Darkness. Is that is, is that what I'm reading? The genie of darkness this has to be Toriyama's doing. <laughs> you, you'll see. Dude, please, get that get that nose fixed. I'm, I'm asking. Like, look, I'm begging. Normally, I'm an whoa, advocate. Whoa, whoa. Oh, mm, oh mm, twerking. Mm, twerking already. Oh, so, mm. so, the first official twerking we've seen. <laughs> the first that... official twerking in, was back in 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are movies that will contradict that statement, but... <laughs> The earliest we can now recall is 2001. What the hell was I playing in 2001? How old was I? I was born in 98. 99, 2000, so about, I was like three, four years old. About like I said, I was old. playing this game, I was like four or five. There's the ultimate bad guy. He faced the description I gave him perfectly. Yeah. Oh, please keep your <laughs> mouth closed. What? This is the genie? Yeah, good question. Well, it's quite different than I imagined. Hey, maybe if you rub his and urn, how did you imagine? You. Oh, he wants his. Um, <laughs> he wants dude, his urn rubbed. Dude, stop! What is wrong with oh, He like? wants his urn rubbed. Look yeah. at him. The eight, the dark genie. Genie, this is it. Hey, where are you guys? Like, where's like the nearest pizza place? <laughs> I'm like, I'm hungry. Welcome back, genie of darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your he master. He even walks like a Nazi. Oh, uh, that's real fucking presumptuous of you. Oh, is that right? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's not give a fuck. <laughs> Grr. Yes, that's right. I've eaten the 400. <laughs> Don't look like it. Darn, I have to eat something. Oh. Oh, I so knew he was gonna die. Just the animations, man. What? Uh, stop! He oh. oh! Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, that's an audible crunch. I mean, I guess females would love him. <laughs> uh, that happened. Gulp. Mmm, <laughs> delicious and fat. I'm sorry, after not eating for 400 years, I doubt I'd be that's... fucking pissed. I doubt that's a satisfactory meal. Right? I mean, even if he is the, like, the, the fattest dude, I mean, there is like a room of like 30 other people. Oh, she's kind of cute, but probably like 15. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to statement just to be safe. Yeah, that's a goop statement. Uh, yeah, so I'm retracting that one. <laughs> uh, it's sad because no, it's probably true. No need to incriminate yourself now. Hi, how are you today? Who just does that? It's, Tone, it, it already started. Come on, let's go. It, it's nighttime, though. It's not day. Don't you even hear the crickets? Don't you fucking look at me. Tone, it's already started. Come on, let's get... You just repeated yourself. <laughs> See, I told you you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you. Oh, she left you. Tone, hurry. You forgot the up. I don't care. <laughs> this fucking, that fucking <laughs> awful she started the spoon like. But fuck the spoon. <laughs> I don't need a fucking spoon. Nah, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who needs a fucking spoon? I don't. Speaking of. <laughs> this guy's my <laughs> suit. Go, I mean, fuck it. Go ahead. I don't care. Damn. Hey, he, he does have emotions. He has emotions. God, okay, so for context, guys, we like, oh, we watched the opening video a couple times, and we sort of tore a new one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could, I saw the skybox, like, literally where they stitched the skybox together. I could not quit pointing it out. And, like, Tone the entire time had no facial expressions. Holy shit. <laughs> this fat motherfucker. He's just trying, man. <laughs> he's look, trying. He's, look, he's having a good time. Do you think she's legal? It's hard to tell in a game like this. Right? I want to say maybe. I want to give it a solid, like, she looks, she has to be at least 18. Uh, she has to be at most 18. There are two Holy moons. shit, there are two moons. Oh, that's the Dark Genie. Those moons are cut out, part, cardboard cutouts. <laughs> and here comes the reason why the game is a city builder game. Look, look at the insects squirm about. <laughs> All right, sure. I don't like that face. Wait, Janimba. That's what I'm thinking when I see this guy. Yeah, you totally think of Janimba. He, oh my god, he looks like Fat Janimba. <laughs> Would he shit that laser? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the fucking after image effect. Jesus Christ, that is hard to look at. <laughs> Oh, that was a belly button laser. Oh, please close your mouth. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I hate it when you open your mouth. <laughs> oh, there goes our mom. <laughs> well, I want to start out, point out this started with us eating soup. <laughs> so remember when I said this is a city builder action RPG? Tone! Die, 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 die. I honestly don't remember. Ah, the fade of white. Oh, you can totally see where the animation for it stops before it falls on him. Yep. Oh, just trying to fire fireworks. <laughs> I don't like how they keep did, looking at the screen like did, that. I swear, that one clip, it straight looks like he's shit out of laser. <laughs> I'll be sure to zoom in on it. <laughs> I, I could be seeing it wrong. I'll be sure to zoom in on it when I'm editing. Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Getting more and more good. Turns into a Danny DeVito voice. Ah, old man! Ahem, I'm the fairy no, king. No, 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 you got to. I am the fairy <laughs> king! I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. This is gonna give me such a headache. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Oh, really? No shit. <laughs> Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it? Your old village being destroyed right before your eyes. Way to fucking kick him while he's down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not just your village, in a flash. Many villages and towns were destroyed. I know, I was there. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> In one night, half of your world was annihilated. <laughs> He's really digging this knife in. God damn. <laughs> Just going on and on. Like, your mother, your friends, your family. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a fucking douchebag. Oh, wow. Now he's giving him flashbacks. <laughs> this kid's gonna legit have PTSD. <laughs> it must be the men from the east. That performed a resurrection ceremony. Yeah, you know those white. Uh, so those, the Nazis are. Yeah, on your these. white. Yeah, your white Nazis from the <laughs> <laughs> Probably thinking to use black demon power. I'm more. sorry, it's white demon power. <laughs> Without realizing, we're how... not trying to make this racist, but it's <laughs> the game is not making this easy. It is darkness. Yeah, darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Well, apparently in one night it kind of destroyed <laughs> half of mine, so I don't frankly I don't frankly question that. If anything, it kind of checks out. <laughs> its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us spirits. Well, it's kind of be fair. I don't think you guys have a different source of magic than these than he does. <laughs> but I don't know your fucking lore. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
We aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Wow, you guys really got the run. Also, I, the great fatty king, is too weak. You, kid, go kill it for me. <laughs> go kill it. I'm not, let me be very clear. I'm not going to fucking fight that thing. <laughs> but you... That right. thing scares me shitless. But you're, you. you're a wee little lad. You're young. You can handle it. <laughs> young man. I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power. I legit just This sounds like some bullshit trying to get out Dude, of the Dude, he's me. legit like you are full of <laughs> shit, old man. <laughs> His eyes are calling him out. <laughs> and also, a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. You are putting a lot of expectations on me. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to stick <laughs> down <laughs> fate on you. <laughs> Let me bless you with power. I decided. I decided. <laughs> I made the conscious choice to make this your problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, he's on shroom or something this entire time. Look at those eyes. He <laughs> My man is tripping. <laughs> he's tripping balls. He's legit saying, yeah. Yeah, I made the conscious choice to make this your problem. My man is on some sort of hallucinogenic drugs, and oh he my is God. seeing shit. Oh, no. Well, this is yours now. <laughs> oh, cool. Didn't ask for it. But it does look kind of cool. There! Surprise! That's called Atomelia. It's a stone with a magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Final Flash! <laughs> you fucking asshole! Solar Flare! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. Wrong move. Oh, well. <laughs> Do you know where this is? No. This is no simple empty lot. This was your village! <laughs> you know, the same village that got torn and raised to the ground. This is the ashes of your people. <laughs> what a fucking douchebag! Everybody you love is dead. But well, very... don't lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return to its original form. I can bring everybody back? I said you can bring your village back. I didn't say everybody else. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead as shit. <laughs> you see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the building of people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. How horrible was that for the people? <laughs> like, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> ah, do you know what a snow globe is? Think of that. It's kind of like that, and they have no way out. <laughs> they are stuck in there for what's a possibly eternity. <laughs> Until you do something. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. So before you even had a chance to actually save them. Probably blow to different places around the world. So before you even had a chance to save my people, you put them in <laughs> spheres and, and as if playing pool, knocked them into several... Look, it's not my fault, okay? <laughs> it probably thinks everything's destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. How this much? It looks like he's tripping. Dude, he's tripping so many balls. <laughs> <laughs> Absorb that which I sealed in Atla using that Atomilia and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. So by restore to my original form, you mean just put the buildings back where they are? No, no, the, the, I mean, people think maybe. I don't know, man. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Just empty. I have no idea where my feet are. <laughs> <laughs> I, do I even have feet? <laughs> Hmm, you don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Well, no, I don't, because I've kind of been dead for, like, maybe, what, for, like, what, the past three minutes, and you've done nothing but talk a bunch of bullshit? <laughs> oh, well, I'll give you another <laughs> lesson when you acquire some of that law. Literally does not give a fuck. <laughs> oh, well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> so long. Well, see ya. <laughs> what a fucking douchebag. <laughs> Acknowledges you're clearly clueless in this fucking. It just pit. runs the fuck off. Oh, holy shit! Those are butterflies. Just like my father. Holy crap! Butterflies. <laughs> well, that's a son. <laughs> How is he smiling in a moment like can this? Can you hear me? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, the trees. Oh god! Now animal. we hear voices too. Dude, what was in that shit? <laughs> the voices of the earth. They can all call for your help. You know, along with the people who I sealed in fucking boxes. <laughs> And talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them, you know, in those spheres that seal them in. <laughs> I'm never gonna give the, the old man such a fucking douche. First, go to the village chief's house. The one that I sealed. 
I mean, that might be right there. That might be it. That, that totally looks it. Is that like a broken down airship? Dude, that's kind of like a great house idea. It mm, looked like village. it from like a quick glance. Yeah, that's a fucking broken down like submarine. Or something. That's actually kind of an ingenious idea for a house. Oh, it's like an airship bubble. It's like, look, it has to like... Yeah. I don't know. I mean... Man... This is kind of sad. Remember how, like, crowded this area was? This was, like, a minute ago. Ah, dagger. The best of weapons. Oh, oh uh, I found first person mode. I forgot that. You go to dungeons, like, uh, just a quick button press. Alright. Oh, okay, so that's how I do it. Oh, I remember that. Games, where you could literally save at any point. Yeah, right? Where you could just hit the save button. Ah, Toe, you're alive. How are you literally the only one alive? I'm pretty sure I saw you get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamed that this would happen. One night our village is gone. And our village is gone. Can you believe this, Toad? Trust me, man. I have been... Well, now, Toad, and I have to breed you. What? <laughs> <laughs> For the prosperity of our people and future generations to come. I'm a man. <laughs> well, that definitely puts a damper on that one. Anyway. <laughs> I feel so uh, helpless. Yeah, I, the yeah. mayor of the village, who can't do anything about... The, the, mayor, uh, the mayor of the village, and I can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do? Wait a minute. I can send you to fix this. <laughs> You're young, God. Look at he sorry. already knows. He already knows he has to go and do some bullshit. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I don't want to make you do it. <laughs> well, I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of Norun Village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. You know, after we got our complete village destroyed. <laughs> so much help he was. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fair to ask, Toad. Go to the Divine Beast King. <laughs> Why is it flashing in red? <laughs> that will alert you that you're going to fucking die. <laughs> Divine Beast Cave. In the cave is the cave outside towards your right hand side. You've probably seen it before, right? I may be imagining things, but I said something has changed about the cave. You know, since I last checked. Which is like, I don't know, like a week ago. So be careful. So be careful. <laughs> This is for this is the cave key for the Divine, Divine Beast, Beast Cave. cave. <laughs> that would be good. There you go. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. How did you? Don't ask me that question. <clears throat> Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble there, come back here. You'll get more supplies. Good luck. Well, time to potentially go and die. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. What'd you put in my bag? Bread. Hell yeah. Uh, repair powder. Oh! That weapon durability is in this game. Weapon durability? It's actually that's like one of the things I loved as a kid. Tasty water. That's just down Yeah, like, awesome. nah. So this game is like an RPG, but a also a pseudo survival game. You got first to worry about, uh, you got weapon durability. Very interesting. Yeah, so for now, we're just going to be stuck with that dagger until we can get more stuff going for us. Alright, well, how the fuck do I get out of here? Nope. S a spiky bugs came out. Oh, man. That caterpillar <laughs> looks like it'll fuck your entire day. <laughs> that If that doesn't scream poisonous, I don't know what does. What does? Dude, you just had this thing randomly in your pantry. I would get that cleaned out. I thought it was like a vault hatch for the door. Learning controls? Yes. To the right. Yeah, to the right of us. So... To the left, there you go. Oh! Wait, were you just leaving a big-ass crater? Yeah. Essentially. Fuck it. <laughs> it's PS2 era. Look, we don't... Back then, we didn't question these things. We accepted it. A big keyhole. Oh, cool. That's a prompt. <laughs> That's nice. 
Divine Beast Cave. I'm not gonna stop reading it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That's kinda cool. There's like levels. Yeah. Cause you go back to this cave quite a bit. I, I believe it. This is a big ass dagger. Oh, it's you again. I am not voicing you anymore. My throat hurts. <laughs> It's for it's for real this time, Toad. That other shit was some fat shit fruity shit, wasn't it? <laughs> From here on, you'll be put to the true test. Shakes him in his fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> just shake. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Do it, pussy, kill me! <laughs> First conquer this wretched divine beast king <laughs> and find Drand's lair. That's your first goal. Yeah, I know that. That was literally what I came here for. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson now on how to fight in this dungeon. Jesus. First to advance to, to the next floor in the dungeon, acquire the gate key for, for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key for the Divine Beast Cave. Trans Crest will be at the gate will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you're just gonna have to defeat them all one by one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what yeah, there's no the way ass. to tell. <laughs> what an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to go through killing I 1000% believe it's gonna be the very last monster I kill every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level rather than advancing to the floor below. To return to the to the ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. I'll be able to know your browser history. <laughs> <laughs> when you do this, I'll transport your body to the ground level. Just select leave dungeon from the menu. Beware, if there's a monster left on the floor, the mind connect won't work. Won't work. It'll be blocked by their evil energies. That thing looks like a very perturbed Sonic the Hedgehog. It's <laughs> <laughs> almost like a werehog. It's like a were. It's like a were. It's like a. It's like a were boar. Yeah, but it looks oddly like Sonic. <laughs> In such cases, use items to use ex, use the item escape power to get out on your own. Actually, why the fuck am I gonna use the mind connect thing? Use your goddamn power. <laughs> <laughs> the Naruto Chief has lots of it. He snorts that shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, that's the reason I look the way I do. You can also mind connect with me to go through the gate to the next floor of the dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start from the ne next new level so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, it's next it's on to weapons. Beware that weapons are breakable. It's like it's like that one game. Just fable, it. fable of Favio or something like that. Uh, uh, emblems of water. That's it. That's the thing I'm thinking of. Uh, that sigil of water. That's it. There we go. Water sigil. That's the game. There we anyway, go. the more you use a weapon, the more it wears. It finally breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. To prevent weapons from breaking, use an item. Use the item repair repair paddle, powder to restore the weapon. The longer you use a weapon weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters that thus becomes stronger. Shit, weapons just evolve just by killing monsters and yeah, absorbing it's pretty dark great. magic? That's fucking cool. And I love it. It's said when a weapon reaches full strength, it changes to a more powerful form. Keep that shit in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on your dagger, so it'll never disappear. But all new weapons you get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Then why don't you just make it on all my other weapons? Because <laughs> you're going to be using a lot of them. Fuck you. Look, you need one that technically is not broken forever. Look, this is like Doom logic. You always have at least one weapon that's never gonna run out of ammo. Don't waste your don't waste your hard work by letting a, a weapon break and disappear. Finally, the important stuff. This uh, like me keeping a weapon wasn't important. The sphere Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of that Atla it, into Atlamelia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you'll be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. That's it for the today's lecture. 
Now, Toad, show me the true ability of the, on this. Show me your true ability on this guy. Let's see it. But gonna, just like <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die down here. <laughs> but just uh, true to most PS2 games, the intro was long as hell. But here we are. All right. Well, with all of that lesson in our heads, we'll be cutting it off here. Uh, thank you very much for watching the first episode of Dark Cloud. This is gonna be a very fucking interesting game. Uh, if you like what I do, hit my hit the uh, like button. You want to see more of my shit? Hit the uh, subscribe button. And in the next episode, I guess we'll go through the the Vine Beast Cave and hopefully find Dran. You sexy fuckers better drown that like button. Like, take the like button, bag it up, and use it to smash into its own family car. Have a good night. God damn. <laughs>